after losing their home in a fire, a Salt Lake City family says they're struggling to find a place to stay because of rising housing costs. Uh, they ha didn't have renter's insurance when this happened, lost nearly everything in that fire. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen talked, about them, talked to them, I should say, about their dilemma. There's just tons of uh, like fire, da like smoke damage from everything. Very little remains in the house where Jose Rodriguez Hernandez and his family lived in the last 10 years. The fire spread through the wall. One week after a fire destroyed nearly all that they had, they still don't know what caused it. But since then, everything they've known has been turned upside down. This house is really been like the center of my family just because we've been here for so long like we're surrounded by our family and our community here his mother and brother who were home at the time escaped but their family dog chato died in the fire he says they regret not going back to save him we really do just remind him that they they did the right thing in getting out when they did and that they shouldn't feel any guilt about uh, what happened. Unfortunately, his family didn't have renter's insurance and will have to rebuild from scratch. Since then, they've split up to stay with other people until they find a new home. So but Rodriguez uh, Hernandez says the gentrification and rising housing costs in the Rose Park area is making that difficult. Other people come in here and can pay higher prices, but then like, where does that leave uh, the people of color and, and, and other people that have lived here for uh, a long, long time? Like, where does that leave them? But what keeps them going is knowing they do have that second chance to start over together. Those types of things are secondary to knowing that like my family's safe, that we are all in good spirits and like trying to like move on from, from what happened. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Now the family did say they were given some money from the American Cross, just enough to stay in a hotel for a couple of days after the fire.